Okay, folks, this tutorial is going to look at how to have different characters for your local multiplayer game. So right now I have a character that is controlled by the mouse and I have a character that is controlled by my gamepad. Now to get this to work, this game has been built in 5.0.3 because in all other versions of 5.0, the skip assigning gamepad to first player is broken and we are unable to get local multiplayer to work without a lot of workarounds. So anytime I now press play, I've got these two characters. That's set up really easily through the third person, actually, sorry, it's through the level blueprint. On event begin play, we are creating local player and we're assigning controller ID of negative one, which just creates the next player. And we're gonna add some things to that in order to make the changes that we wanna have happen here. So the first thing that we wanna do is we actually want to go into our player character and make some quick changes. So I've got my third person map up here. This is it's not always a good idea to work in our level blueprint, but it's the quickest way to do this work right here. And I'm gonna go down to third person, let's move that up, go down to third person blueprints and open my third person character. <clears throat> okay, that's opened right here. And I've got all of my commands in here and I'm just gonna go to the bottom. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say custom event, add custom event. I'm gonna name this swap, and this is gonna be my swap character, so maybe swap care would be even better. Now, when we call swap character, we are going to set skeletal mesh, and by default, this should be changing the skeletal mesh character mesh essentially that's part of this BP third third character third person character so I'm going to set a new mesh for it to use so it currently defaults to using the Quinn mesh and I'm gonna have it use the Manny mesh I'm gonna unclick reinit pose and honestly what's gonna happen here is the Manny mesh will be used but it's still gonna be using the Quinn animation I'm not worried about that, so I'm not gonna look into making those changes. And I'm gonna go ahead and say compile. Now this should all work. Let's save. The problem is we now have to call the swap character on the one we wanna swap. So I'm gonna close my third person character and I'm gonna do all of this after we create this local player. So in order to do that next step, we are going to cast to BP third third person character. Now, if you're in my class, we just covered this the other day of how to have one blueprint, in this case, the level blueprint, talk to another blueprint. The problem is how do we get this object so that we know which third person character in the game, because we have two, we have player one, we have player two. So one might think that, oh, I'm creating a local player, I can just plug that straight in, but that's actually gonna create an error. If I go ahead and compile it, it's gonna give us a warning. And it's gonna say that this always fails because this is creating a local player controller, but this is actually a character. So what we really wanna do is we wanna figure out how to select the player character that is associated with a specific controller. So instead of having this just create the next player, I'm gonna be really specific. Player zero, controller ID zero is player one, controller ID one is player two. So I'm making sure I'm creating player two, and then I'm going to get player character, and I'm also gonna get player two, which is player index one. I'm then gonna plug the return value in here and when I compile this, that should now work. Whenever I'm casting, I always like to have a print string just in case as a debug that's gonna say cast to player to care fail. And then I'm going to try and do my action as if I was BP third person character. And that action is going to be to call the function swap 
character. I'm going to make sure that the target is connected so that it's being called properly. Save and compile, close. And now when I hit play, the second player is going to be Manny. And second player should be clicking here. Second player is the one that is controlled by my gamepad and mouse is controlling my Quinn. I'm just going to hit play again. And I want to show you that these locations are randomized whenever we're, we're spawning, unless you've gone the steps to actually set them up. So now my Manny is on the left. That's still player two and it's still controlled by the gamepad. Okay, so if we want to look at those a little bit more in detail, it's the level blueprint. Here we go. Let's, I'm going to close the details just to make this a little larger. Event begin play, create local player. We're changing that controller ID to one now. We're casting to the BP third person character. We're making sure we're changing the correct character. And honestly here, if you wanted to change player one instead of player two, you could do that here. And I didn't really need to change this to from negative one to one. I just like the idea that I'm creating a character, I'm being specific, and I'm being specific again. And there we go. We're setting up our print string for cast fail, and then I'm calling the custom event, and I need to set up that custom event before I can call it. So in my content drawer, if I go into the BP third person character, I right clicked to say custom event. I've named that event and I'm setting the skeletal mesh and I'm changing the mesh. And if for some reason this doesn't come through, when you set that up, you can just drag your mesh in from the left-hand side components and you can plug that target in and you can select any of these characters. Now, if you are using Paragon characters, you can do this as well, but those Paragon characters have very different animations and we're gonna wanna look at a second tutorial to show you how to not only set skeletal mesh, but to change the animation. All right, this is super handy if you wanna allow people to pick their characters in game as well. But there we go, quick and easy two different characters. Thanks for joining. Let me know if you have any questions and see you again soon.